Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I hope you're all having a great day today. So I have a little bit of an obsession with the brand Kate Spade. I absolutely adore their stuff. And over the past couple of years, I've really collected a lot of their like handbags and stuff like that. So today I thought I would show you guys my entire Kate Spade bag collection. Like I said, I have been collecting these for a long time. So I will try to leave the links down below for whatever is still available, but I'm not sure how much of it will be available. But anyways, let's jump right into the video. So the first bag that I'm going to show you guys is probably my most worn Kate Spade bag because I use this all the time for school and so you can kind of see the wear and tear on it because I do use it so often. But it is this beautiful brown leather Kate Spade bag. What I really love about this bag is the size. Um, it's a really, really beautiful size because it fits my laptop and it could fit all of my school stuff in it and like snacks and stuff like that, whatever I want to bring for my lectures and all that stuff. And I also really like this thing because I think it adds a cute little pop of color. It's just a really adorable, really good bag. And I've had this one. Actually, this is one of my newer ones. This is like my second newest Kate Spade bag. I bought it on my last trip to Orlando. Yeah, it's just the perfect size and I use it for every day. It matches pretty much every outfit that I wear. So speaking of school bags, the next bag that I'm going to show to you is a backpack. It is this gorgeous poppy backpack right here. I love the colors in this. Every time I wear this, I always get complimented on it. It's so fantastic. I love the gold accents. It's really beautiful. Um, the only reason that I don't really reach for this anymore when I'm going to school, why I prefer the brown one, is because of the straps on the back. So the straps are leather, which means that if I overpack this, which I, I always overpack for school, I don't know why, but I always fill this up to the brim. Um, these straps really start to hurt my shoulders and cut into them. But if you're not using it for like packing a ton of stuff in it and like wearing this for like a long amount of time for like the whole day, then this is such, such a great bag. It's so nice. And the other thing that I really love about this one is that I bought the matching wallet and this is like my everyday wallet. And I just think it's absolutely so cute together. I really, really love this set. This next one is a much smaller one and I'm pretty sure this is my oldest Kate Spade bag pretty sure. It is this little like bright pink crossbody. Again, the gold accents. Gold is like my favorite color metal, so I tend to always get gold. Um, but it's really nice. It's got this little clasp that you can just turn this way and then you open it up and it's got this beautiful pattern fabric on the inside. Um, this one is much, much smaller as you can see, so I normally don't use this a lot and the color doesn't match everything, so I wear this on very specific occasions. But it's just big enough that you can fit all your essentials, so like your cards, your phones, stuff like that. The next bag that I'm gonna show you guys is this black bag right here from Kate Spade. Again, this is one that I use all the time. I feel like having a staple black bag for everyday wear is like a wardrobe essential for most girls, and this one is mine. It's really nice. I love how structured it is, and I love the size of it. It's really great for carrying things around. I also love the straps on this one. They're much more structured and less flimsy, which makes it really good for like carrying heavier things. And it's also got this little pocket here. It's another pocket to hold stuff, which I love. And yeah, the other thing about Kate Spade bags is I find they give you a very luxury look, but they're very affordable. Not like, I mean, they're not super cheap for sure. They're a little bit more expensive than what you'd get at like Zara or something like that. But they're not nearly as expensive as something you would even get maybe at Ted Baker if you go to the outlets, which is where I buy all of my Kate Spade bags. And as long as you take care of them, they will last you a long time. Like I've said, I've had the, some of these ones for years. Okay, so this bag here was actually a gift from my Zia, which is Italian for aunt, but she bought me this for, I think it was Christmas. Pretty sure it was Christmas, but it's this beautiful little tiny Kate Spade backpack. I really, really love this one. It again comes with leather straps, but <laughs> I wouldn't wear this one to school because it's so small. It's more just an accessory for if I'm like going out or something. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's this really nice like quilted velvety kind of fabric. I really love it. And I also love that this part isn't printed on. It's like actual metal, which is my next suggestion. If you're buying a Kate Spade bag, I definitely recommend going for something that's more like this rather than a printed one because the printed ones, especially if you're touching them a lot, they do fade, which just makes them look cheaper and they don't last as long and they don't look as nice. Whereas these ones are gonna last you a lot longer. So I'll show you what I mean. This is a Kate Spade wallet that I got a long time ago and you can see like right here where I always close it, the printing is fading off. 
So I definitely recommend going for something that has a logo that's more like this. All right, this next purse is probably one of my favorites just because it's so cute and so me. It's this little pink purse with this beautiful bow. It matches the bow that I'm wearing right now, but I really love this one. It's a beautiful blush color. And this for me, I know it's not an everyday color for most people, but this is an everyday color for me. It fits into my wardrobe so well. And I just think it's really adorable. It kind of reminds me a little bit more of Ted Baker too with this big bow. And I just think it is the sweetest little bag ever. It's definitely on the smaller side, like just for a comparison, this black bag is much bigger, but it's still a very, very good size and I really love this bag. I use it all the time. Okay, and then the final bag that I'm gonna show you is my newest bag. I just got this at the outlets in Niagara Falls and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite one that I have. and I'm pretty sure this is gonna become like an everyday one for me. Like this is what I'm gonna be going to. It's this really pretty like creamy beige Kate Spade bag. Like I said, it's got the nice logo and not the printed one. It's soft leather, it's really beautiful. Um, and it's a big one too. This is actually slightly bigger than my black bag, but it's not nearly the size as the first brown one that I showed you. But it's just the perfect size for me. It also came with this little tassel, which is just supposed to go around the bag like that. It's removable though and you can take it off and put it back on as you please. I think it looks a little bit more casual with the tassels on and without it I think it looks really dressy and glam but you can definitely wear it either way and it'll still be cute. The other thing that I forgot to mention is all of these bags with the exception of the first brown one that I showed you have this removable strap that you can use to make it more of a crossbody. Um, personally, I prefer the look of them when they don't have that on them, but for convenience sake, like if you're shopping around, it's such a nice option to have to be able to make it a crossbody because it's just the hardest thing in the world when you're trying to carry it as you're shopping and looking at things through the racks and stuff like that. So it's really convenient and really nice to have. All right, well, that's all the bags that I have to show you guys for this video. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comment section down below. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!